Executive Director of Lighting and Construction Africa, Lisa Andrea, says uh, Ghana should not rule out the construction of many hydro dams as the diversity uh, as it diversifies its energy sources. The energy expert is of the view Ghana should still take advantage of many rivers across the country to show up its hydro power generation. Energy expert Lisa DeAndre explains the construction of many hydroelectric dams should be used to supply electricity to the communities where they will be sited. She noted Ghana has a comparative advantage in constructing many hydropower dams and solar energy for electricity. We are working on some mini hydro projects. Ghana has a lot of rivers and we have to start working with what uh, the country offers and, you know, try to bring the best out of it. So definitely hydro and solar is also, it has to start uh, to take off and it will definitely. I can see that some progress has been made even from uh, the government here in Ghana. There's a feed-in tariff. All the things are in place to secure the investors to come and invest in the country. The executive director of Lighting and Construction Africa, a power generation and construction firm, stated Ghana should follow the Canadian and European model by not focusing on one specific energy field. She observed diversifying the country's energy portfolio would ensure cost efficiency and energy security. So you have to have different scale energy production and different type of energy production. It should come from solar, it should come from mini hydro, from hydro, thermal, everything you have. Unfortunately, Ghana is not very strong on wind, otherwise I would say also wind. There is a very good site, but it, the country itself doesn't provide with that um, very high wind. But the solar is one of the best, for example. I visited the north of Ghana and there is some very good sites. Ghana's renewable energy policy targets to make renewable energy at least 10% of total national energy mix by 2020.